page turners and welcome back to the channel i'm matthew the man with a hat who reads and it's been a little while hasn't it um yeah this isn't much of a video today i'm essentially just kind of talking about something i noticed while i was gone and why i was gone for those of you who don't know um i had a little bit of a reading slump slash booktube burnout all kind of just collide at one time um i mean i would just sit there i'd be like oh i should watch something on booktube I'm like oh i should watch that i should watch that and then i didn't watch any of it i had books i was trying to read and it's not even that they were bad i just was having a really tough time committing myself to reading them um, I had a couple of days in there where I had really bad migraines that I was like, I can't even think about focusing on a book right now. <laughs> um, it was just, there's a lot. It was a lot. I'll get into what some of those books were a little more when I do my March wrap up here about a week from now or a week from this video is posting. Um, I don't think I was alone in a reading slump though either. A lot of the book cha tube channels I follow... I started noticing a lot of them were putting out very similar little videos talking about how they were in a reading slump or they felt themselves going into a reading slump. There's something going around, guys. I don't, I mean, we're all kind of suffering together, I guess. I don't know if it's the weather changing, the seasons changing, if daylight savings had something to do with it. I don't know, but it seems like a lot of the channels I follow are going through this same kind of thing where they're just, they're hitting a wall with their reading or hitting a reading slump or in some cases they're just like I was at the other thing too the booktube burnout they were just like eh, I'm not really watching anything and I should or I should interact with people and it's just I mean there's not really much you can do in a booktube burnout except just take a break take a step back MJ's done a whole video talking about that kind of stuff just take a step back and just get away from it for a little while and I think that's helped a lot I haven't really dove back into watching too much yet. I'm starting to a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, I think when I get out of the month, I think it'll get better. I have some videos planned already for April that I'm excited to get to. I haven't done a tag video in ages. And I just, looking at the tags that have been like floating around, they're not really tags I would have good answers for, if that makes any sense. I don't know. If there's a tag you think I should do, let me know in the comments down below, like, so I can look up and see if I'd want to do it. And don't say the I'm so annoyed tag, because coming out of a reading slump and a book tube burnout, the last thing I want to do is talk about how annoyed I am about stuff, at least right now. Maybe someday I'll do it. That is a fun tag, and I know it's been going around a lot, but, um, just the book tube burnout, I just, like I said, I kind of took a step back. I took a break. I think I've gone a good week without posting a video at this point until now of course when I broke that trench but um so that was kind of nice just kind of getting away from it for a little while taking a step back relaxing out of it um yeah it was good the reading slump on the other hand that was a little more difficult I was working through a couple of books and it wasn't that they were bad they were just one of them specifically was a com more was a pretty complex read but i was like i don't want to give this one up because i've wanted to read this one and i was for the most part enjoying it so i did power through on it a book right after that i did um he i just i gave up on it i was i was getting nothing out of it and since I was kind of powering through this reading slump, I was like, I'm not going to take my chances on a book. I'm, it's not catching me at all. And then earlier this week, I finished a book and it was amazing. It was a five-star read. I, like I said, I'll talk about it more later, but it was what I needed to get me out of the slump on the reading. The reading slump is done as far as I can tell. I should power through the rest of the month now, but little of it there is left. And my April TBR, I'm essentially just going for an anything goes type approach. I'm going through my books, picking out stuff that's been sitting here for a long time or stuff I'm really just don't want to put off too long. 
I've got like something of every genre for that TBR, and I can't wait to share that with you next week here on the channel. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for everybody who offered kind words on my um, community post about this. Um, you guys are all the best. It's been, I'm going to, hopefully I'm coming back now strong and I can keep giving you content that you enjoy or at least watch. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've got some good stuff coming. I've got some fun plans for the next month. Um, I've got a review as I get the book read. I can read the book first, but I have one book. I have a couple of my books in the TBR for April. I've already like, okay, this one's going to make a good review. This one will make a good, um, adaption discussion. This one will make good for this. So I have some ideas. I have like a whole list of ideas. I, that was one thing I did when I took a step back, I could brainstorm video ideas and it was very productive on that count. But that's just it for now. It's like I said, just a check-in of sorts, just to let you know that I'm not dead or anything. <laughs> I'm not, I haven't fallen off the face of the earth or got crushed by my stack of unread books. So I'm okay. I'm perfectly fine on that count. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below, though. Have you been dealing with a reading slump? Because it seems like it's been a thing ravaging through BookTube lately. So I just would love to hear from you. If any of these ideas I kind of spitball around or whatever sounded good to you, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep turning pages.